everyone. I'm Hugh. I'm Sonia. I'm Asha. I'm Jessie. Welcome to the Sydney Church Toolbox. Welcome to another Sydney Church Toolbox. Today we'll be looking at how to have great family devos during isolation. Psalm 78 verse 5 reads, He decreed statutes for Jacob and established the law in Israel, which he commanded our forefathers to teach their children. So the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born, and they in turn would tell their children. Then they would put their trust in God and would not forget his deeds, but would keep his commands. Being in isolation means that we have this amazing opportunity to spend more time with our families. And we can use this time to create great memories, learning about God together in Family Devos. Let's call our families to put their trust in God, remember his deeds, and express our love for him by obeying his commands. When our kids were younger, we would play and act out our family devos. We didn't have them every week, but we made sure that they were memorable and a lot of fun. Now that the kids are a bit older, we have transitioned into having weekly family meetings. Thanks to the amazing tip from Anna Mark Davidelsky and these Family meetings are not only a great time to encourage and spend time talking with each other, but also a great chance to think about God's Word and also about just general things that are going on in our family household. Here are some elements that you can use in your family devos. You don't have to do all of them, but they're just uh, ideas uh, that you can incorporate. Singing. Singing in family devos is a great way to introduce your kids to worship. They can learn to connect with God and participate in the worship service so that they can really sing to God and sing to one another. Prayer. We would start off when they were younger in uh, popcorn style prayers. Now we have other prayers and more things to pray about. Memorizing scripture. Uh, each week we aim to memorize a verse and if we can memorize it correctly, we get a reward which we all look forward to. We start off just remembering the verses from church and we sort of moved on to having a verse of our own that we put on the fridge and learn each week. Encouragement. We give the, all of us a weekly challenge of looking out for the good in each other and then we uh, share that thing at the family meetings. Gratitude. In this section, we really just share one thing that we're grateful to God for that's happened to us this week. Game. Nothing like keeping the family devos fun. And we've had a lot of great game ideas from asking the older families. Giving. Each week we give kids pocket money and if they've completed their chores, that is. This is a great time each week to help them to set aside a bit of money to give to church, to give to the poor, to save up for missions really to teach them uh, how to save, which is an amazing life skill. And there's something in the family meeting called uh, having an agenda. And one of the things now with what we say in uh, conversations is to, when I hear something being repeated by a child, I'll say, can you put that on the agenda for our family meeting? And it might be like an issue or concern or request. And we have found that it is a great platform for airing all our concerns and issues. How do we incorporate teaching uh, into our family devos? Uh, the first way is to really uh, just read a scripture and act it out. This can be a lot of fun. You can get in a costume and have a great time doing it. Here's some examples of how we've done it in the past. Two, three, into the lion's stand! <laughs> And Jesus is asleep in the boat. The wind and the waves come up. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna die! Jesus, do you even care? I don't care, Jesus. The Bible contains amazing metaphors for spiritual concepts. Using them can help the devos come alive. Here's a few that we've used. In James 3 verse 5, the Bible reads, Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. To see just how dangerous the tongue can be, 
We're going to set this forest on fire. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? So this verse is talking about how crazy it is that we praise God at one moment and then we curse or boast in the other. And so we've set up you with two glasses. The one in your right hand contains nice fresh water that represents praising God. Give that a try. Beautiful. That now, in your left, we have set up salt water. That represents cursing and boasting. Give that a try. Okay, now try mixing them together to see what would happen if we both curse and praise God. Okay, give that a swig. There are many character traits that we want our kids to learn. Things like fruit of the spirit. Things like loyalty, honour, courage, honesty, openness, generosity, perseverance. All of these are traits we want to train and you can incorporate the training into your devos. Here's an example we learned from Rodney and Zoe on how to train perseverance. situations is a way that we can teach our kids how to actually handle them. Some examples would be in hospitality, how to greet people, how to look them in the eye, asking them great questions. We can also train things like how to resolve conflict and how to handle uh, forgiveness. These are great things to just act out in family devos. And then of course there's just the normal Bible discussion format where we can just read a scripture and have a great discussion. Thought I'd just finish with some tips. Always help to pray first, to get God to work through it. Helps if you can prepare. If we set a regular time each week, then it's much more likely to happen. We found that Sonia and I, if we worked as a team, would be so much better. If Sonia was excited about it, if she was having fun, then the kids would totally have fun. There's nothing like some rewards, like collies or chocolate, something like that, that would, uh, excite the boys even more and always just having fun is a great thing to do as a family